Hello everyone, Titanius here. We were all wondering what was going to happen with Adult Swim when it was announced that it was going to be moved to 6pm to start in September, and it looks like we have some more clarity about what's going to happen at the beginning of the block. It's reported that American Dad would be a big part of the expansion of Adult Swim, but as we know, they usually air it after King of the Hill, after Bob's Burgers, so it wasn't really likely that it was going to be something that was going to seep into the 6 to 8 pm time frame. So what the executives are trying to do is even though their audience has moved into more of adults than kids, they're trying to kind of bridge the gap. And they're going to do this by reruns, specifically reruns of cartoons from the late 90s, early 2000s. And this is from an article from Deadline, Adult Swim seeks gains from May expansion when they move to 7 p.m. obviously, continues to add programming real estate with launch of nostalgia block, checkered past, because you know, Cartoon Network, white, black tiles. Adult Swim's one hour expansion expansion of its daily programming last month has gained enough traction with viewers that the Warner Bros. Discovery Network is adding another hour to its schedule heading into the fall. So this happened like two weeks after it started at 7 p.m. because, you know, their audience is changing. Like, kids aren't watching cable TV anymore. So they have to appeal to the audience that they have, and their audience is mainly over 18. And they're going to do it with nostalgia. So basically stuff they shoved into the vault. Are you the Dr. Junk, Professor of Milk? The same. Oh, it would be an to squirt for you. Skip it up and that up. A new block, Checkered Pass, will debut under the Adult Swim banner on the channel it shares with Cartoon Network starting August 28th on Monday through Fridays at 6 p.m. It will be a showcase for Cartoon Network throwback titles like Dexter's Lab, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, Courage the Cowardly Dog, and Ed and Eddie, placing a rotation of cartoon shows like Teen Titans Go. Yeah, so what's happening with Cartoon Network programming? I haven't really been keeping up with it, but it seems like what's happening is that Teen Titans Go is like how SpongeBob was with Nickelodeon back in the late 2000s like it was basically Nickelodeon was Spongebob, iCarly, and then maybe like an hour or two of other programming during the day. And it seems like there's something similar happening with Cartoon Network, basically just they're in one show because they don't know what to do. And as their audience is shifting and like the majority of the audience at 6 p.m. is adults, like adults don't want to watch Teen Titans Go. On Saturdays, the new 6 p.m. hour will feature reruns of current TV PG originals like Unicorn, Warriors Eternal, and My Adventures with Superman, the latter which hasn't come out yet. Sundays will continue to see Acme Night broadcasts of family-friendly films from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. The rest of the schedule is projected to stay intact. So with Unicorn, I think it's the first season is only going to be 10 episodes, so they're going to be done by the time that this new block comes out, but Superman is starting in July, so that may overlap. But you know, there's always reruns. The push into 6 p.m. for Adult Swim comes after the first two weeks of its new 7 p.m. hour lifted tune-in among viewers 18 to 49 by 24 percent, with a 38 percent upswing in the 18 to 34 demographic, compared with the previous Cartoon Arc branded schedule. Increases in the 18 to 49 bracket reached a peak of 66 percent on Mondays and 87 percent on Tuesdays and the overall gains at 7pm have carried over into the 8pm hour. The network has risen to 6th place among ad-supported networks in primetime compared with 12th in the weeks leading up to the expansion. So these gains for Cartoon Network isn't a huge surprise, as we know the audience today is much more older than it was 20 years ago. So Adult Swim expanding has made a lot of sense, and basically, if you cut out the Teen Titans Go and you replace it with something like King of the Hill, more adults will tune in, obviously. And here's what the president of Adult Swim has to say about it. Uh, Michael Owlin, I think that's how you pronounce it? says the nostalgia block plays the inherent strengths of the art form quote animation can both speak to multiple age groups in the moment and also find new audiences across decades and quote the early cartoon arc originals like dexter's laboratory or courage the cowardly dog are examples of shows that do both obviously a lot of the late 90s stuff on cartoon arc and nickelodeon 2 basically appealed to a broad age demographic and they're already doing this with unicorn warriors eternal because they're marketing it to both the adult swim crowd and the cartoon arc crowd it was initially designed to be like for general audiences, so they can push it to any demographic that they want. 
And of course, it's getting a lot of success. The new series anchoring the 7 p.m. hour is Adult Swim's best launch in over a year, and they top-rated a new animated show in the demo, according to the network. Obviously, that makes a lot of sense because Jen D. Tartakovsky has been involved with Cartoon Network for 20 years, besides a slight hiatus. But yeah, they've been heavily pushing that show, and it's been a success so far. They honestly should have been doing this like 10, 15 years ago. I don't know why they just keep shoving their popular shows like from the 90s in the vault over the years. Never really Really made sense to me like yeah sure they pop up from time to time but they never really had a consistent block but now they have a pretty sweet time slot for the entire week which is very surprising because these are just shows that they sat on for years i mean i guess the appeal for the people that are still there that haven't moved on to HBO Max is like, hey, we're going to rope in these viewers from 18 to 35 who watch these shows as kids. So obviously that's a big step in the right direction. I guess we were all wondering how they would fill that gap with either new programming. As of right now, it doesn't look like they're going to do that. They're going to rely heavily on reruns, which they pretty much already do with Cave the Hill, American Dad, and Bob's Burgers. But you know, Bob's Burgers is leaving. I think September this year, which is probably the big catalyst for this because they have to put something else to replace Bob's Burgers and it looks like it's going to be Dexter's Lab, Cursed Cowardly Dog, Ed and Eddie, shows like that, Cow and Chicken maybe. And that would be the six to eight. Then you have King of the Hill, eight to nine. Then you have something like Futurama or Unicorn. And then you have American Dad, and Rick and Morty. So that just seems the game plan for Adult Swim. I'm definitely thrilled about this because I don't have HBO Max or Max as it's now called and I'm probably never going to get that. But I'm just glad to see that Cartoon Arc is finally realizing that these shows from the nine are what people want but i guess they finally realized that the age demographics were changing and it should help their viewership base because it's adults now that are watching cable primarily and they don't want to watch teen titans go they want to watch the original teen titans so let me know what you think about this adult swim expansion in the comments down below are you excited to see some of your old favorites from back 20 years ago and i will see you all next time this is titanius turning off the tv thanks for watching Thank you.